Now, if you focus yourself to the other side of the steering column, opposite side of all our ignition wires that we just hooked up, you're going to see a plug just like this one. And what you want to do with that plug, that is actually your dimmer switch that is located on your steering column in this area right here. I've removed it so I don't hit myself in the head. So you want to go ahead and unplug it. It actually mounts right here. Okay. Go ahead and unplug that and throw it in the trash because your wire kit okay, will supply you with a dimmer switch plug and the plugs you need to install it. So we take our dimmer switch wires just like so. You're going to have a green one, a tan one, and a blue one. We're going to go ahead and run those to the proper length and we're also going to leave ample supply of slack as we do that, and we're going to trim those off. Just like all the other wires that you're installing, you have to strip them. Twist your wires. And on these, you want to make them approximately a half an inch long. Okay? Now, I just told you about the plug. What you're going to get is you're going to find in your box some gold wire connectors and a black three prong plug. Okay, go ahead and get those. Get three of the wire connectors, take three of the wire connectors off of the rail of connectors. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install them on your wires just like so. Now you can actually solder these if you want to. You don't have to do it like me. I've been doing this a long time. If you're not sure of what you're doing, solder them. Once your wire connectors are installed on the wires, okay, you want to get your three prong plug out. Just like so. If you look right there. Okay. The blue wire is going to go in the single hole. These two holes, the, the two bottom ones, it doesn't matter which one's which because all it is is a switch that flips it from high to low. So you take your blue wire with your connector that's supplied in your kit and go ahead and snap that in there until you hear it snap. Then you take your other two wires and it doesn't matter which hole they go in, okay? They can go in either or and you slide those in there until you hear it snap or feel it. Always pull out on it to make sure. Okay? Same with your brown wire. And now you got your plug that is properly made to fit into the GM steering column. As all the other wires that we're doing, you take your wire ties and you want to go ahead and wire tie those wires up. Just like so. Here dimmer switch uh, wires and you go ahead and plug them in and keep them out of the way of all the other wires that you have because you always have to keep keep a, a, a map in your head how the wires are going to go because your wires will be moving around and if you notice when I push those out of the way if you look and see it's nice and clean see these wires just happen to come loose off there so you take this and you plug it in and it only plugs in one way should plug right in there like that. Make sure that it's all in. All your connectors are good. Everything's tight. Take one last wire harness and go ahead and put that on your steering column group to keep it out of the way and nice and clean. So, now if we ever need to remove our steering column, it's going to be nice and easy. All we'll have to do is remove three plugs and possibly our wiper plug, which would make it four, but three minimum. And our steering column drops so out. As you it look, out. you can see that we went ahead and wired up our dimmer switch. Okay? Our wires look nice and clean if you trace them down. We come over here to the steering column, and you can see how nice and clean all this is wired up in there. And all our wires are nice 
they're run even and clean and our steering column will be real easy to uh, take out. The next thing we're going to do is install the air conditioning unit. You can watch that on, up, uh, on a previous video and the wiper motor and then we'll wire all that up.